All right, so welcome everybody to Rhea Vision Avant here. And we are back. And so the, everything is working much better now. Um, and so definitely, guys, thank you so much for being here. As you come on in, do me a favor, create a watch party, share this video, get it out there in front of the masses. Um, this is as real as it gets TV, and we go live every Monday and Thursday. But you guys are always welcome to watch all of the replays of every single one of our shows by going to as real as it gets tv.com. Now today we have another one of our special guests who's going to be talking to you guys about how to be able to write your story before you're out of time. So for those of you who know without a shadow of doubt that you have a book in you and that you want to share your story to the masses, this young lady is going to help you to get that done. Okay. But before we get into that, we have so many more announcements and so much that we want to talk about. Okay. And so I'm super excited to have each and every one of you here. Now, as you guys come on in, do me a favor, introduce yourself. Let us know what city and state you guys are chiming in from all of that good stuff. And even if we don't see it while we're live, please comment, even if you're watching the replay so that we can definitely connect with you. All right, guys. So anyways, what's up? What's up? What's up? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to um, go ahead and play a quick commercial so that you guys can learn about our Urban CEO Academy and how you can be a part of one of the fastest growing organizations in town. So let's get into it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Taria Vigitavant, and I wanted to just jump up here real quick and tell you, have you heard about the Urban CEO Network? Darling, if you have not heard about Urban CEO, then you need to make sure that you jump on board. Right now, we have a special so that you can actually be a part of our Urban CEO Academy, which is our monthly membership program, where not only do you get exclusive access to events, discounts, and things of that nature, but you also get training that's designed to help you to grow your business. Right now, you can join for seven days for free and see what we're all about. All you need to do is go to UrbanCEOAcademy.com and check us out for real. Like we're the fastest growing organization right now designed to help men and women that come from the urban community that want to grow in business, that want to grow in their career, or you simply just want to be able to grow in your life. Urban actually stands for unapologetic, real bold, action oriented, and non-conforming. So come over here, check us out, join. We want you to be a part of what we're doing. Seven days free. You have really, I mean, it's a win-win situation so you can see what we're all about. All right. So join. I look forward to seeing you guys there. I'm going to talk to you later. All right, y'all. So that was our commercial. Make sure that you join the Academy, one of our latest and greatest trainings. We actually have a whole training teaching you guys. This is this body butter right here. You see this body butter that we you can't see. Hold on. Let's let the zoom get you. Ugh. There it is. The Urban CEO Body Butter. So literally, we created a whole training that teaches you guys how to create your own body butter. Also, we have how to market your body, body, body butter, where to get all the supplies, everything that you need, as well as recipes, additional recipes for you guys to get started. So that's one of our latest trainings. Uh, but we have so much more that's taking place in the academy. Now, I actually wanted to talk about what I think is a very serious conversation uh, because right now, you know, many of you guys have heard about it. It's a virus that is spreading all across the world, not just in the nation. It's actually something like I've never seen in my entire life. I've never been a part of something where literally everything is shutting down. And then there's conversations of us possibly going into a worldwide uh, quarantine, right? So I say quarantine, quarantine <laughs> to be locked up basically in our own homes. And so I wanted to bring on some of our amazing urban CEO ambassadors so that we can have a little bit of a conversation about this. And so I'm going to bring on today, none other than Atlanta and what part of, what part of Georgia, uh, Rhonda, are you in? We, we just say Atlanta for Rhonda, but both of them are in Georgia, Atlanta, is the uh, city closest to most of them. Uh, but I'm going to bring them on real quick. We have none other than Zainab Carter and Rhonda R. Hutchins. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Zainab. Hey, hey Taria. Hello, hello. Okay, Z, your, your camera is like frozen. So right now I can see Rhonda, but we can hear you. We just, you look frozen. You're looking to the side, child. Oh, no. Hold on. You might need to turn your camera off and turn it back on. Yeah. There we go. There it is. There she is. She's back in there. Hello. Hello. Hold oh. on. We look like a uh we got an Oreo going on right now. Rhonda, you're in the middle. 
But everyone loves the cream filling. What can Got I say? that cream filling in there. Yes, honey. So let's have a conversation, guys. You know, um, everybody is, you know, I, I, I've, I've been saying that it's not the virus that we need to be afraid of. It's the people. And so, you know, what are your opinions? First of all, do you feel that the virus is what we should be more afraid of or the people? And then what should people really be focusing on right now? And I'll let, um, in fact, I'll let Zainab go first. And then Rhonda, I know, cause I know you're going to put a little icing on the top. So I'm gonna let Z go ahead and talk first. And then Rhonda, we're going to bring you up. Okay. Well, the way, well, first of all, hello, all of my entrepreneurs, CEOs, bosses out there. Um, my quote of the day this morning no, was not quote, the not art quote. of being wise. Yes, not the quote. I just want you to talk about the virus right now. We're going to get to the quote in a second. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's just talk straight about the virus. Well, <laughs> I definitely feel that it is more, um, con people's attitude is more contagious than the virus. Mm -hmm. Because energy is very, very contagious. We cannot expect to be fighting over tissues and water <laughs> and but then want to come together as a people. That's just it's just not going to work out that, that way. So we really need to um, not to be afraid of what they are saying, but take the proper precautions, stay clean, keep your mind positive because what you think you attract and you become. So we don't want to speak upon our spirit of any sickness or ailments that just because the government is going crazy and everybody else is going haywire, that does not mean that it's affecting us personally. I mean, I pray and I feel sorry for those who it may be affecting and have affected already, but um, we can't let it stop us and we can't let it just um, prevent our lives from moving forward. We have families to take care of. We have ourselves to take care of. Our business must continue to flourish. We just don't have time to have any negativity to be embedded in our mindset and in our spirits or our goals right now. That was not part of the goal or our vision boards, I'm sure, before January hits. So we're not going to allow it to be become right. a part of this because that's the rest of the world's vision. Absolutely. You know, and, and the one thing I think that's important, guys, is that like you got to stop getting so inundated with the news, man. Like every it's some people where I'm literally literally about to unfollow them uh, because every time I turn around, you posting something that the news is talking about. And I'm going to tell you guys, every single update that we get from the news, is that really affecting your life? The only thing that really is going to affect your life if you are told that legally we cannot leave our house. Right. Um, until. Yes. And we got to be very careful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all just be glued to the television. And the, and the crazy thing about television, if you break it apart, it says television. Tell your vision. It's designed to tell you what to see. And unfortunately, if you are focused on seeing with your physical eye versus your spiritual eye, then you're going to get all confused in the mind. And so, Rhonda, how do you feel? Should people be more afraid of the virus or should people be more afraid of people i think we should be more afraid of people more so the rhetoric and and the the rhetoric it's just that's exactly what it is it's rhetoric it, it's the spin that has been put on it we're supposed to buy the spin that's been put on it and quite frankly as you well know i'm unapologetically before i'm an urban ceo i'm unapologetically christian and <clears throat> I was given the authority to speak life or death, and we all are. It's in the power of our tongue. So I'm a parent leader um, for our corporate prayer at our church. And two weeks ago on Tuesday night, 20 of us joined together in total agreement, one mind, one accord, and we spoke death to COVID-19. Mm. And I believe we have that authority. We're not going to turn loose of it. And I believe it's dying because by Tuesday, they said a gentleman in Rome had been diagnosed with COVID-19. But here's the thing. By the time the diagnosis got there, he was so well they were sending him home. Now, that sounds like death to me. They're saying all the people in China are starting to get well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's just get real about this. And, yes, I touched my face because, quite frankly, I'm a t face toucher, and I'm not afraid to touch my face because I won't live in fear. So, Someone said um, last night I was in a, a conversation with Adeline and some other leaders um, from around the country, and someone said faith and fear cannot exist together. If you're going to have faith, you can't have fear, and if you're going to have fear, don't talk about your faith. Mm -hmm. And that's 
the way I feel about it. We need to either God's God or he isn't. And I believe he is. So that's, I'm going to stand flat footed on that one. Absolutely. You know, I agree with you, both of you guys, you know, I definitely know that, you know, everything that we think about will also, you know, attract the things, those things into our lives. And if we do talk about having faith where, you know, a lot of people I know, they always talk about faith. And my thing is, you know, like, for example, yesterday, um, what's today? Yeah, Monday. Yesterday, I went to church and I hadn't really gone anywhere else because honestly, the other places that I really go outside of church are places that are really not conducive for the growth of my business. It's all places where I end up spending money, you know, going to kick it and stuff. Um, but one thing that I will not allow is for me to not get a piece of God. And I am just a, a person that walks by faith and faith does require you to take action. It's not just talking about a thing, but doing a thing, not going into Walmart fighting over toilet tissue. Like, come on y'all, like for real, like where we come from, I don't know if y'all can agree, but where we come from, honey, when we ran out of toilet paper, honey, my mom was like, uh, you got that newspaper. You better go take that newspaper. In fact, do I need to do an instructional training for some of us? Cause I think some of y'all need to learn. <laughs> How you take newspaper. Listen, if it got real bad, huh? Would you say so? No, because the only people that are going to have a hard time not surviving is those that's never had to survive. <laughs> there you go. True indeed. And you know what? A lady actually commented on my Instagram. I removed it because I was like, woman, don't do me. And so it was like, it was itching at her. It was probably itching at her. She just had to say something. But I have had people that have hit me up and said, well, I've never had to survive. And that's even crazier. I was watching The Breakfast Club and Charlotte May was saying, let me tell you something about people that come from the hood. See, the thing about the fact we come from the hood, we know how to make everything good. Okay. We know how to stretch stuff. We know how to make some oodles and noodles. Uh, look like the high cuisine honey okay and so you know it's just guys common sense a lot of common sense um but yeah you know i don't know if it was true but i saw a picture of individuals standing like wrapped around the corner at a gun at a gun store and i'm like if this is true but you know people like to make up fake stuff fake news and stuff like that but right. even if it's that if that is the case everybody talking about well they just want to exercise their their law what is it the 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 the, the right to carry i don't know right. Right. Um, but my thing is, what, what, what are we doing? Like, come on, y'all. Like, it's not that serious and we need to calm down and we need to stop allowing our mind. Like every single thing that you do cannot be about this virus. And, at, it, and honestly, what I look at it as this is an opportunity for many of you guys to get focused. Many of you guys have been using that same old excuse. I'm busy. I'm busy. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. Oh, well, guess what? You got some time now. Okay. If you, and then even if you know what, you just, you can call your job and say, you know what? I ain't feeling good. And you'll be able to get off and you can start working on the stuff that you're supposed to have been working on. But you know, you're so inundated because you got to work your job. You got to take care of your kids. You got to take care of your husband or your wife. You got to serve at the church. You got to do this and that. Well, now you got time. So instead of us complaining and being so glued to all of this constant negative news, a.k.a. CNN, right? Or another bad creation, a.k.a. ABC, or it, or nobody, nobody has a clue. NBC, guys. We, instead of us focusing on any of these news outlets, we need to focus on us. We know that God has already made us mighty and 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 powerful. So let's yes. focus on us, right? Is that how y'all feel? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're gonna go ahead and keep this show a rocking. Thank you guys so much for the commentary. Uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and introduce you guys to our book of the week. This is something new. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We actually have our announcement. So you just had a chance to hear from her. And so she's going to share with you none other than Rhonda Hudgens. What announcements we have going on? Rhonda, you are now live. Well, first of all, I want to announce one of the greatest ways to market your business. And if you're an event host, event planner, have the greatest gift bags in the world at your event. And that's because you contract with Metro Bride Bags, my company, and we will take care of your marketing and we'll take care of your gift bags for your event. With that said, I have some really, really, really exciting announcements. Last year in October, Urban CEO had our first national conference here in Atlanta, and it will be back this October, 16th, 17th, and 18th. 
but we're doing who's who nominations again, and we need you to nominate your favorite CEO for the who's who in urban for the urban CEO who's who. Now here's the thing: you're I'm going to say this out here out loud and proud. Your favorite CEO may be you, so nominate yourself. We've got lots of categories, so go to urbanceo.com forward slash nominate and nominate your favorite CEO or favorite CEOs. I don't think they're limited to one, are they, Taria? Okay, see? So you may have one in two or three different categories. Nominate them because it's such an honor to know that someone nominates you for something like that. I was nominated for Inspirational CEO, and it, it blesses me to know that I inspire people. Did I win? No, but you know what? I did win because I was nominated, and no one can ever take that nomination away from me. So that makes me a winner to begin with. Also, coming up in June, in Atlanta, June 13th, we will have the Atlanta Urban CEO Summit. The one in February was fabulous. I'm sure the one in June will be even more so. And then in Houston on June 28th, they will have the Houston Urban CEO Summit. So you really, really need to plan. I'll keep watching for the details on that. I believe I heard tickets are going to start being available this week. And you don't want to miss it because both summits were fabulous in February. Now, the really big thing for those of you who are members of the Urban CEO Academy, this month, our special guest professor is none other than the founder of Urban CEO herself, Toria Vision Avant, and she's going to be bringing all the Academy members, get a really great deal on this, but if you haven't done her um book camp boot camp yet and you've been thinking about writing a book then this is the event that you need to attend now you don't have to leave home if i'm correct on this it's going to be the 28th of this month so you still get to have that social distance they say we're supposed to have so what you need to do is go to and i've got it written down here somewhere oh here it is um, urbanceonetwork.com. No, that's not it. My bad. Wrong one. Where did I write it down at? Um, oh, here it is. Huh? Sorry. Um, go to bookcampbootcamp.com and register. And I believe I saw a guarantee that you would have your book 80 to 100% completed by the end of the um, book camp. So you can't beat that. If you've been putting off that book, like Toria had said earlier about all these things you've been putting off, now's the time to invest in yourself. And it's really a nominal, nominal investment compared to what it would have been. So invest in yourself during this time when you have to be socially distant and come out of this thing on top with a new book. Back to you, Toria. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate it. And definitely want to shout out to everybody who is watching us live. Shout out to Stevie Aisha Mills, who's watching live from Roanoke, Virginia. She says, I help entrepreneurs stand out and make more money. Okay, so if you guys know Stevie Aisha Mills, make sure that you plug in into her okay she's also I'll, I'll say we had a lot of people that have already registered for that book camp boot camp one of the incentives when you become a part of the academy is a whole lot you know we did did a giveaway we had three individuals who actually won um this oil this lemon drop oil right here as well as the free uh sample of the body butter also for the rest of march if you purchase one of the urban ceo book bags or t-shirts or fitted caps, you've seen, uh, you saw Z had her cap on, I got my t-shirt on today. Um, if you purchase one of those, you will actually get a free body butter as well, okay? And we will we will be mailing out everything starting tomorrow. Uh, hopefully throughout the whole week, we'll be able to still be able to mail out everything while um, the, the, you know, uh, the post office is open. Hopefully it is, okay? Uh, but with that stated, either way, when it opens back up, you will get it, but it's only for the month of March, all right? Okay, let me go ahead and bring on, uh, oh, before we do that, we have another new thing that we've added to the show, and that is our book 
of the week. So we want to shout out Orlando Haynes, who is a three-time author. He's a speaker, a career growth coach, Navy veteran. He has this book called Inside Career Tips, right? Inside Career Tips. And here's the book right here. I've had the book. It's one of his very first books. But he helps people that are looking to advance in their careers. Um, he actually coaches individuals in those space. So shout out to Orlando Haynes and his book. Uh, definitely make sure to grab a copy by going to Orlando Haynes. Dot com. All right. So now what I want to do is bring back on Zainab so she can actually share the quote of the day. And hello, everybody. Um, I just wanted to talk about um, the art of being wise and it's knowing who to ignore, what to ignore, what to overlook, where to leave things and when to move on and why it's all necessary. Um, we may not always understand his wisdom or the reason why God does the, the things he does. But as Saria said, this may just be a chance for us to invest more time in our business, invest more time in our goals and aspirations and things that we have planned to do. Um, you have to listen to your own truth. And that's when your reality sets in. We are never in control of what happens around us, but we can only control what happens within us, guys. So let's not let this, you know, consume us. Let um, us all continue to stay focused and stay steadfast in our plans and the things that we have already have um, set forth in our journey for our businesses and our lives to grow. And I just want to send a prayer out to all of those entrepreneurs and CEOs out there and all of our small business owners to let y'all, you guys know that this too shall pass. Okay. We got this. Absolutely, sis. We most definitely have this. This too shall pass, honey, and it's going to make us stronger and better than ever. Thank you so much for that quote. Thank you so much for that. And shout out to Bridget Carter, who is watching live from YouTube. We are broadcasting on Periscope, YouTube, and I believe we're broadcasting on Facebook as well. If anybody's watching from Facebook, please leave a comment. Let us know. Um, again, we've just been having the weirdest glitches that have been taking place, guys. I know that it has everything to do with the enemy trying to block our focus, but guess what we won't do? See, we will not be controlled by the things that happen around us because we always understand it's not what happens to you, it's what you do with what happens to you, okay? So now we're gonna bring on our guest speaker of the day, and this young lady is in South Carolina and doing some tremendous, tremendous things. I am so excited to have her on because not only is she doing some tremendous things, but she's also in the same space that I am. She does it a little bit different though because she has her own niche market that she works with. And what she does is she helps you to be able to write your story before you're out of time. And so I'm going to bring her on real quick. None other than Angela Patrick Wynn. Hello, Angela. How you doing today? Queen? <laughs> Well, wonderful. Well, we are so excited to have you here. And I know that you're going to teach some great information. So first and foremost, Angela, let everybody know a little bit about who you are, your story, and how you got into teaching people to write about their stories. Awesome. Thank you, Taria, just for this wonderful platform. Again, I'm Angela Patrick Wynn. And I am the CEO of Angel Light LLC, where I make your writing dreams a reality. And what's new for me in this niche is I am now fully retired and living my best life. And so as a national bestselling author, I taught folks how to write a lot. But there's nothing like what I'm going to be able to do now with just an online program and platform. And that's why I want as many people as possible to know how to write their story before they're out of time. First and foremost, that writing a book about their life story is going to start on the day they are born. If you look at any book that you love or any movie that you love, it does not start on that day. It starts when action starts. So I think that confuses a lot of the folks thinking they have to start at the beginning of their life. They do not. They, just, they start and it's going to make the most impact. 
Well, today is a very good day for an example. We started out with technology and the virus. Look how many stories are being written right now about that. I see things about all the babies that are going to be born. I see things about science fiction and fantasy. Is it real? Is it a mystery? Who really is behind the virus? All those things are things that you think about when you want to write. Do you want it to be a romance? Do you want it to be be creating a whole new world. Something that you'll learn when you work with me is what is your story promise? What are you promising the reader that you want to talk about? And there's a great technique to doing that. And you can do it over and over. You can do it for a story. You can do it for a chapter, for a page. And what it does is it keeps you from hopping around because you'll have a character, a character in a situation, and something that character wants to achieve, you're going to always have someone who's against the character achieving that. And then you're going to always have the opportunity for a disaster. So today, when you were putting everything together, I said we could, she could be Maria Avant. People could, you could change the name. And it could be whatever story you want to tell with your truth. It could be that you want to impact a million people, but who's against you? Is it technology? Is it someone that uh, you got your eye on and you're like, if I step away and fall in love, I might not meet that goal. It's just all those great things that we get to undiscover in our mind and then make a move on it and create a story. Yeah. 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 I thought about the collaboration that I was in scars with the rest of the co-authors, and we gave three scars, and each one of those could have been an actual book. And each one of those, that truth could have been told. And if that author did not want to be in the midst of that scar, they could have created a character and helped that character solve that problem. It's that simple. If it's about betrayal, is it going to be betrayal in a mystery, a suspense, a thriller? Is it going to take place in the past, in the present, in the future? Fun, fun stuff. I know that you work in the space where people are getting instructions and they're working on the grind. I'm in that space where you get that glass of wine and you about to lay back and pick up your favorite book. That's the book I want my students to write before they're out of time. Correct. Correct. And I have to remember it. So you can hold on one second. And he what said, happens hey, is hear me. a very important technique is guess what? You're going to know your end before you know your book. So you're going to already know if your theme is betrayal. You're going to already know guess what? Going to get over it and the day is going to continue. Usually people close the book, they want to close it on a great ending, even if. The next day, the next thing happens, you will learn to end it so that the readers are satisfied. Awesome. Now, let me just clarify because some people said I, I had myself muted and they couldn't hear me. And so the question that I asked her was, you know, if somebody does have a story where maybe their story in real life has not really kind of finished that victory lane, you know, that victory lap. 
you know, do you help them to create an ending that will be, you know, motivational or inspiring or something that's, it may not always be positive. It could be crazy, right? A crazy ending as well, but something that you know that's going to create uh, the excitement for that reader, whatever, you know, whatever kind of genre they're looking for, but that excitement. And that's correct, right, Angela? Yes. And people do look for irony. They're not always looking for everything to end perfectly because we don't live in a perfect world, but it has to meet the promise that you gave. And so, yes, I would love to help folks craft that so that they have a great blueprint and foundation, and that will help them just continue until they have finished. Awesome. Angela, if somebody wants to get in contact with you and get started with writing their story before they're out of time, what do they need to do? So everything for me under the coaching of Terea Vaughn is under Angela Patrick Lynn. That's my <laughs> website dot com. That's my Instagram, that's my Facebook. However you'd like to contact me, I will do definitely do the follow-up and make sure that you can be qualified. Also, if you get my new book, Write Your Story Before You're Out of Time, .com, you can get it by going to that link. That's a qualifier because it just gives you a few more tips. And it'll let me know once you read it if you're really passionate about this great, great journey that will go on. We'll do some Facebook online critiquing where you'll learn what constructive criticism is. You'll learn how to get used to people reading your work and sharing it. And the group of people that we'll be working with will be just like you. I think I'm going to even get in there and start a new book as well. So I look forward to anybody that's going to contact me. We're going to have a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited. I know that you have, you know, your clients that you're already working with and they're excited about what they have coming up. You know, I said, uh, I want to be responsible for impacting the lives of 10 million men, women, men and women in mind, body and soul. And so, Angela, I thank you so much for being, you know, one of those brave people to step thank up you. and be actually a contributor to those 10 million. Because I know with you, you're going to impact a lot of people that want to be able to write their story before they're out of time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, Angela, do you have any last and parting words that you would like to leave with our viewers before we end today's show? Well, I've been ending things with what is becoming my favorite quote, and it is that everybody has a story to tell. You might as well make it a blockbuster. Thank you, Taria. Absolutely. Well, thank you so for being here. That was absolutely incredible. And again, hopefully you guys were able to hear me most of the time. Listen, if we need to, and we will, you guys will get a chance to meet Angela Moore. In fact, she's going to be one of our power hour speakers for Urban CEO Network. And so for those of you who are already part of the Academy, we have an incredible conference that's coming up April the 18th in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, as of right now, we may be actually postponing it. However, we are still gonna make sure that you guys get access to all of our speakers, okay? But what's even so more exciting about that is that this is it right here, theprofitsconference.com. Angela is going to be doing a power hour training session that all Academy members are going to be able to get access to for free. Now, just in case you don't remember, you urbanceonetwork.com to join the academy today. urbanceonetwork.com to join the academy today. And you'll be able to connect, of course, with Angela Patrick. So I am super pumped up about that and super excited about that as well. Hold on. Look, so anyways, with that stated, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and get ready to wrap this call on up, wrap this show on up. We are, again, super excited. I know we have some additional people who are asking questions for Angela. What I would recommend, especially Marsulis, that you go ahead and connect with her. Angela Patrick Wynn is all of her social media and her website, and she could definitely make sure to help you with writing your story before you're out of time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play this commercial one more again, and that is the end of our show. Thank you guys so much. Let's check it out. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Taria Vigenavant, and I wanted to just jump up here real quick and tell you, have you heard about the Urban CEO Network? 
Darling, if you have not heard about Urban CEO, then you need to make sure that you jump on board. Right now, we have a special so that you can actually be a part of our Urban CEO Academy, which is our monthly membership program where not only do you get exclusive access to events, discounts, and things of that nature, but you also get training that's designed to help you to grow your business. Right now, you can join for seven days for free and see what we're all about. All you need to do is go to UrbanCEOAcademy.com and check us out for real. Like we're the fastest growing organization right now designed to help men and women that come from the urban community that want to grow in business, that want to grow in their career, or you simply just want to be able to grow in your life. Urban actually stands for unapologetic, real bold, action oriented, and non-conforming. So come over here, check us out, join. We want you to be a part of what we're doing. Seven days free. You have really, I mean, it's a win-win situation so you can see what we're all about. All right. So join. I look forward to seeing you guys there. I'm going to talk to you later. Thank you.